Hey, what's up, guys? Kevin the Rocket here. Um, one second. Uh, right now I'm going to be doing a review on a vast free uh, antivirus. For some reason, my virtual machine keeps on freezing on me, so let's see if it works here. There we go. So I'm actually going to get the Installer for my desktop. I'm actually leaning back and forth with a veer or a vast, a veer or a vast. So you guys can comment which one you think is better. I know it might always change, but yesterday I was running. Uh, I was running a Vera Internet Security. Now I'm running. Uh, a fast with Komodo firewall. So it just depends what I'm like. Welcome to Avast. So we get that little welcome to Avast voice. I'll warn you guys right now, I'll turn your volume down because it's going to be loud. I don't know if you noticed my other video, but. I had a vast and it was loud, so. A vast virus database has okay, been so updated. Now, if you guys ever uh, have any questions, you can ask me, but I'm going to say right now that the internet security has the same uh, detection as the free antivirus, but the um, internet security offers a sandbox, I think, and a firewall. So, yeah. But you can always get a free firewall like Komodo Firewall. I installed mine with the sandbox, I have the sandbox also, so. Alrighty then. And of course the first two are dead.
threat has been detected. Okay. As you can see, rootkit blocked. A vast web shield has blocked a harmful web page or file. Threat has been detected. And that's a rootkit, so good. Threat has well, been detected. Malicious URL blocked. I mean, I know that an antivirus can't stop everything. Hang on a second. Already sorry about that. Um, I had to mute my Skype, but uh, but yeah, like I said, I go back and forth with the vast. <coughs> Rootkit blocked. Been detected. Good. Oh yeah, back to what I was saying. All antivirus can't stop everything, but. For the most part, depends which one you use. Dropper Threat block has been detected. Here's an RAR. DN. actually supposed to be a Okay, so it just terminated itself. Okay, so I think I'm gonna count that one against the vast because it is a um, threat has been detected. Threat has been detected because it was an I and I or um, RAR, sorry, and it did not. I did not have one zip or seven zip or whatever. Malicious URL Threat has blocked. Been detected. That would be a fake AV. Trojan downloader. Threat has been detected. Malicious Threat URL. Threat has been detected. Threat has been detected. Blocked. Threat has been detected. Also blocked. Threat has been detected.
Threat has been detected. Threat has been detected. The reason I did not uh, install that was because <coughs> it was an IP changer, and most of the time, those might just be fake. So, has been detected. and not actually viruses. So yeah, it did actually pretty good because uh, it didn't really miss anything. If we go to the summary and stack. Oh wait, I need to install Flash Player. If you can see the web shield, there's a few infected files. Um, so, yeah, we got some from the network shield also. So, yeah, pretty good. So, I'm going to run a full scan with Avast, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Already back in, and Malwarebytes found three things. Let's see, we got a few temp files and <coughs> a Windows file, so. You can move the chest, which is like a quarantine, repair the file, delete the file, or do nothing. Um. Move the chest would be the best thing to do. Repair would be if you don't want to delete the file, but it is like a Windows file or your program file. If it's just like a program file, it's like uh, something fake and it's just a false alarm, click do nothing. So I'm going to move these all to the chest. As you can see, action successful. Just told me it wants me to do a boot time scan, but that's okay. I don't have to do one. Options, advance, this. Okay, so I removed those. I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to right hit M Pro. And M Bam. Also, that has two processes right here. 25 megs, not that bad. Looks like we got a piece of malware and a root kit. Check this out. Okay, as you can see, here it is. It is set to run in startup. So I'm sure that would be a pain. Um, so yeah, I found three things. Uh, 
I don't get this software. Okay, so I'm gonna run a scan with this and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so my R light scan just finished and it's on one thing. So as you can see it's a spyware online games. I haven't really seen this that much, but so now I'll run a scan with Norton Power Eraser and I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back and the Norton Power Eraser scan finished and it found two things which were the rootkit that's in the system. Um, this is the first process that it shows and then it shows also the startup item. So we just end this process. Alright, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, Avast virus database has been updated. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, so it did pretty good. It only missed a few things, but no big deal. Like I said, all antiviruses miss something. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.